I S U P K. Continue to keep us in this condition, man. You understand? We got to fight through this, man. And only you better fight is coming over here, man. Get a flyer, man. You understand? Get a flyer from us, man. UPK, brothers who are going to lay that life on the line for, for that nation, man. The same way that Christ laid his life, his life on the line for his nation, man. So true brotherhood, man. You understand? Talk to them, man. Get them instructions, man, how to love one another, man. How not to hate your brother, man. How to lift your brother up, man. You understand? Go ahead. John chapter 13, verse 34. Go ahead. A new commandment I give unto you. This is Christ again, man. It's written in red. He said, man, a new commandment, man. Once again, man, the previous verse, man, tell you that the pastor, man, himself, he's lying to you, telling that there's no more laws, man. You don't have to keep no, any laws, man. Once again, the scripture call him a liar, man. He's a liar. He's been lying to us, man. He been continue, he continue to lie to us, man. We tell you to get out of that Christian church, man. To wake up, man. Get a fire, man. Come back to your true heritage, man, what you see on this side here, man. Understand? The black, Hispanic, and American Indian, man. We tell you to separate, man, because that's love right there, man. That's true brotherhood, man. Where are, our, where are our businesses at, man? Where they at, man? Chinese on this whole block, man. You got to understand this, man. This is all the result because your Christian pastor been lying to us, man. Understand? Keep going. As I have loved you, as I have loved you, Christ said, man, this is a new commandment, man, to keep as I have loved you. Go ahead. That you also love one another. That you what? Also love one another. That you also love one another, man. You don't go out here and murder your brother, man. You don't go out here and sell your brother and sister drugs, man. You don't go out here and eat shrimp, crab, and lobster, man. You lift one another up, man. That's true brotherhood, man. Not what the brotherhood of the Christian church produced, man. That, that brotherhood there, man, led us in that discretion as it is right now. You understand? Keep going. Verse 35. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. By this, by showing love, what you gonna see in the UPK, that true brotherhood, then you'll know that you are Christ's disciples, man. You know, brother that are gonna keep this, keep this brotherhood, man, and show you love, man. They're gonna lift you up, man, to give you this medicine that is gonna heal you, man. That's gonna heal us, like you. It's gonna heal us, man. You understand out of our condition, man. It's gonna be better going down, man, but after you finish uh, taking that medicine, you'll be healed, man, from that condition that you was in, man. You understand? If ye have loved one to another. That's right, man. You gotta love one another, man. Stop all this hatred, man. Christian church teaches us that, man. The teachers not have brotherhood, man. We gotta have all this man, hatred going on because of the Christian church, man, because the pastor been lying to us, man. Going against God, man. Not keeping what keeping God's commandments, man. You understand? We gotta come back to the commandments, man. That's how we're going to show love to one another, man. Because you don't want to murder from your brother. You don't want to steal from your brother, man. You don't want to lie to your brother, man. You want to make sure that your brother get anything and everything that they need, man, to support them, man. You see a black business in the, bin, in, the, in, the, in the area, you should go support that brother, man. 
You see a sister with a hair salon, you should go support that sister, man. If she got a hair, if she got a hair store, you should go support them, man. Stop supporting these moas, man. So like the Chinese has come over your block, man. They making millions off us, man. We got everything we need right in our communities, man. You understand? But the foundation that Christian church has taught us, for the brotherhood, we got to squash that, man. We got to get rid of that, man. That do that doctrine, man. All right? Go to uh, Luke 6 and 31. Luke 6 and 31, man. We got to get... We're in the, so happy with the brother just said, because we gotta understand, brotherhood is more than a hug, than a handshake. Brotherhood is more than just saying I love you. Brotherhood is an action, man. Give me that scripture one more time, Luke thirteen thirty four. One more time. Yeah, chapter thirteen, verse thirty four. One more time. So happy that that brother brought that out, because we gotta understand, brotherhood is an action. It's how you show your brother love, man. It's what you do that shows your brother and sister love. Read it again, brother. John, chapter 13, verse 34. A new commandment I give unto you. A new order I give unto you. This doesn't mean that Christ add another order. No. This is just this is just like advice, man. This is something, this is like an order that he was giving his disciples. He wasn't adding to the law that the Lord gave us. This is a new commandment. This is a new order I'm giving you. Read on. That ye love one another as... Yeah. That ye love one another. Not everybody on this earth. That ye brothers love one another. He was talking to the disciples. So Paul, you love John. John, you love Paul. He was talking to the disciples. You love one another. Read. As I have loved you. As I have loved you. Meaning what? Christ was leading by an example. Which means what? To lawfully deal with each other. That's how we do things, man. You don't lie to your brother. You don't sleep with your brother's wife. You don't murder your brother. You don't steal from your brother. The same respect you want that brother to give you, you show him. Right. What's the old saying? You got to give respect to earn respect. Well, guess what? You got to give brotherhood to earn brotherhood, man. You got to be brotherly to one another. Keep going, brother. Get a cat in the hand, man. Get a cat in the hand, man. You understand? Get a cat in the hand, man. Alright, you got uh, Luke 6 and 31? Alright, oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. Alright, Luke 6 and 31. Come on, come on, sir. Alright, let's get some more of this. Go ahead. Luke chapter 6, verse 31. Go ahead. And as ye what that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. That's right, man. Just like the brother brought out, man. You want to treat that brother the same way you want to be treated, man. You understand? You wouldn't want nobody to steal from you. Why should you steal from them, man? You don't want a brother to lie to you. Why you want to lie to them? You understand? We got to make sure, man, we get rid of these Christian doctrines, man, that's inside our minds, man. We got to rethink everything, man. You understand? Because the pastors have lied to us, man. They have told us to lie to each other, man. They have told us to hate each other, man. You understand? Only place, man, you're going to find a true brotherhood is going to be in a UPK, man. That's right. A UPK is the only place you're going to find an undercommanded general in your heart, man. Right. You should, everybody should be getting a flyer just on this trial right here, man. You should get a flyer, man, so we can get this understanding, man, get our nation back together, man. Right. You understand? Why would you want somebody to lie to you, man? You shouldn't let nobody, you shouldn't let one another brother lie to you, man, or steal from you, man. Or you don't want another brother to have sex with your woman. You understand? These things right here, man, lead up to brothers, man, killing each other, man. We got to wake up. This is all going to Christian church, man. You understand? The Christian church has taught us, taught us these things right here, man. You understand? Let's go to um, John 15 and 13. You understand? We'll get some more of this, man. Brotherhood, man, is the thing that we need, man, in our, in, for us, man, in our communities, man. That's what we need, man. Right now, man, we, we learn it off, of, off the Christian church, man. That brotherhood right there, man, has led us to our demise, man, for our misunderstanding, man, to a point where we just lie to one another, kill one another, man, want to be high all day long, man, on drugs and everything, want to sell drugs to one another. You understand? Let's get this. John, chapter 15, verse 13. Go ahead. Greater love have no man than this. Greater love have no man than this, man. You got to understand, man. This is, this is about to be what Christ tell you, man, what is the greatest love is, man. Go ahead. That a man lay down his life 
for his friends. That a man lay down his life for his friend, man. When you find right here in UPK, brothers will lay his life down for his brother, man. Because we love our brothers, man. We want to see our brother do good, man. We don't want to see our brother do bad, man. The Christian church would want you to do bad, man. Because he want to keep you in the condition, man, that you are in, man. We want to keep you in that mind frame, man, so you can keep doing drugs. So you can keep stealing, keep robbing, keep doing all the wicked, evil things of the, of the, of, uh, against the Most High, man. You understand? Okay, read it again. John, chapter th 15, verse 13. Greater love have no man than this. Greg. That a man lay down his life for his friends. That's right, man. You lay down your life for your brother, man. Keep going. Verse 14. Ye are my friends. If you do whatsoever, I command you. That's right, man. Christ said, you are my friends, man. You do whatsoever I command you, man. Christ laid his life on the line for his people. For people, man, for us. The 12 tribes of Israel, man. That's who Christ laid his life down for, man. He didn't lay down his life for everybody, man. Only for us, man. You know what I'm saying? Because he loved us, man. He wanted us to do better, man. He wanted us to not hate each other, man. He wanted us to love one another, man. Pick a brother up, man. Pick his spirits up, man. You want to esteem your brother, man. Come on, come on. Understand? Let me just drop that, man. We're going to get a uh, slot. We're going to get some more on this right here. We're going to get some more on this slot. Go to um slot. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother, for that, man. We're going to go to uh, 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 Mark. Matthew 18, 21 to 22, man. We'll get some more of this, man. Thank you, brother, for that. You understand? We got to understand, man. The Lord, man, he's upset with the way the Christian, the, our Christian leadership has led us, man, with this brotherhood, man. This brotherhood right here, man, is not of the Most High, man. This is not what Most High wanted for us, man. You understand? All the places you're going to find, once again, the true brotherhood is going to be right here in the UPK, man, under Commander Junior Yohanna, man. That's right. That's the only place you're going to find it, man, brother, true brotherhood, man. Brother's going to lift you up, man. We're going to tell you, man, good job, man. Not not tell you down, man. The Christian church do that, man. You got it? Go ahead. Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. Go ahead. Then came Peter to him. Then came Peter to, the, to to Christ. Go ahead. And said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me? So, so Peter asked him, asking Christ a question, man. So, so how often do my brother can sin against me, man? Go ahead. And I forgive him. And I have to forgive my brother, man. Till seven times. So he can't put a number on it. He said, till seven times? Go ahead. Verse 22. I said what the brother is bringing out is dynamic, man. The Bible says forgive your brother. You don't have to forgive the white man, man. You don't got to forgive the white man for murdering Freddie Gray. You ain't got to forgive a white man for slaughtering millions of North American Indians. You ain't got to forgive the white man for setting up abortion clinics in the ghetto. You ain't got to forgive the white man for the crimes that he's committed against humanity, man. The white man is the goddamn devil on the earth, man. Right. And it's time to recognize that, man. Right. Talking about we got to forgive. The only man you got to forgive is your brother, man. The man you got to forgive is the brother that stepped on your shoe. That's who you forget. You understand? Forgive your father. You understand? How about that? Forgive the goddamn white man. The hell with that, man. Right. The hell with forgiving the man that murders our babies, man. Right. The hell with... Forgiving a man that rape, robs, and murders every nation on the earth, man. Hey, hey. Christian church, they got a problem with forgiving a nigga, man. They got a problem with forgiving a nigga in the ghetto that has nothing, man. Giving a brother in the ghetto that has nothing, man. You understand? These are the people we got to forgive on this side. These are your brothers. You understand? And Christ taught brotherhood, man. Christ taught us to forgive each other, man. Why can't we love each other? That's right. You know why? Because we giving our love to the other nations. We giving our love to the other nations, man. We giving our love to the other nations, the white man, the Arab. But when it's time to give love to a brother, it's a problem. It's a problem. Why? Because we ain't we 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 don't got no more love to give. It's time to love a brother, man. It's time to love a sister, man. 
That's what time it is. That's right. You understand? We got to consolidate our love to black people. That's right. To blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. Because we gave our love to the other nations, and they used it up. They used it up. You know what they gave us in return? They gave us crack and heroin. You know what they gave us in, in return? A bullet in the back and a broken back. You know what they gave in return? They gave us the slums. They gave us the barrios. They gave us the reservations, man. You know what I'm going to do with my love? I'm going to give it to another black man. That's what we're going to do. That's what time it is, man. And Christ knew the importance of brotherhood, man. Back here, we know what it, what it is to value a brother. To value a sister, that's what we teach you, man. In the Christian church, they tell you to talk down. They talking down on brothers and sisters in the church right now. That's right. They understand it's time for brotherhood in our communities, man. Keep driving it up. Give the officer a hand, man. You know what I'm saying? Brought some heavy, heavy knowledge on that, man. Understand? Keep going on that. Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. Go ahead. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord. How often shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Right. Peter asking this question to Christ, man. How often do I need to forgive my brother? The brother he's talking about for, uh, uh, is on the 12 tribes, man. How often shall I forgive my brother, man? Go ahead. Till seven times? Till seven times? So Peter put a number and said, only seven times I need to forgive this brother, right? Go ahead. Let's see what Christ had to say. Go ahead. Verse 22. Jesus said unto him, Christ responded, go ahead. I say not unto thee until seven times. I say not unto thee the seventh time, not just seven times, go ahead. But until 70 times seven. Until 70 times seven, man. You should forgive your brother as many times as possible, man. You understand? Forgive that brother, man. Forgive that black man. Forgive that Hispanic man. Forgive that Native Indian man. This brother, these brothers ain't need forgiveness, man. Stop holding the grudge against your brother, man. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? 